Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen and thank God. Amen. Listen to me, y'all. We got to seize our moment. You don't know how much time you got left on the clock. Am I right about it? You don't know when he's calling you in. You don't know when your circumstances is going to change to where you don't have the freedom to serve God like you might have now. And God said, why you still got it all? Give it to me, God says. And let me use it. I can do better with it than we can, says God. He said, I can handle it. If you give your life to me, I can make something of it. How many people have made a mess trying to do it on their own? That's what we want to surrender now. I'm tired of, I'm tired of me. <laughs> me messing up me. Me holding back me. I want, I want what God wants for me. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so I want to bring my sister April up as what you have to think about. What we're in in this moment is a huddle. And in a huddle, there's different people who have a conversation in the huddle. There's different people in the huddle with you. And those people in the huddle with you, sometimes you might be weak in the midst of that moment, but in the huddle, they may look at you in your eyes and say, come on, baby, we got it. Come on, we're going to get this play. And so let our sister right now look at us while we're in this huddle together about the game of life for the king and let her minister and encourage us. Amen. Let's get the Lord a hand praise for her, please. Amen.
sister dancing in the spirit, ministering, amen. You, how many people just need him? I just need more of him. Like, I got, I got, I got enough other stuff. I just, I just need more. If I get a little more of him, I can overcome some stuff, push through some stuff. Amen. I, I pray that that's the mode of operation that, that this begins to carry. Like I told God, as I saw where he was taking this, where we are right now, we, are, we already passed, and I'm seeing now what God is calling me to do. Um, there are so many gifts right now that have been um, underutilized or, or not utilized, because sometimes when we think of our gifts, we come after it um, the same way they do in the world. We're trying to get a platform. We're trying to become somebody, get noticed, get paid attention to. But listen to this. You know how David got on the throne? You know how David got picked out by God? He was over there handling God's business. He was over there where nobody wasn't looking, taking care of the sheep, doing the thing that seemed like it didn't matter. But God was paying attention the whole time and said, I got somebody over there that I'm ready to raise on up and put in the forefront. Can we be found being faithful when nobody looking? The gift God gave us that we'll use it and do the thing he called us to do, no matter how much shine we get or who paying attention. But we just go forward in the Lord because you never know what that small obedience from God will do for somebody else. That small surrender, that sacrifice of I'm just going to do what God wants me to do, no matter how it make me look when I get over in this position. Because sometimes God will put you in a position that make you look like you losing. Oh, but all the time you winning. Because <laughs> the safest place to be, they used to sing, is to be in the will of God. You could be in the will of God and going through a storm and hardship and difficulty. But because God is with you on the storm, you're going to make it through to the other side. We got a God that is greater than our challenges, and so no matter what challenges we find ourselves in, may we be obedient to the Lord. May, can we fight this year to be obedient? Yeah. 
to do the things, not just go to church, not the stuff that get everybody else to check the box, but that stuff God called you to do that don't nobody else know but you. <laughs> That stuff he put on your, your heart that you got to do and get done. Let's do those things for God. Let's come out of the closet, if you will, with some of the stuff God has given us in private. And let's go public with it. That's what companies do when they got something they feel like this will work. <laughs> they say, we're going public now. We're going to sell the IPOs now. Let everybody in on this. Let other people in on what God has been doing in our lives. Amen. Amen. The world needs to hear. Let me get that other track right. I'm going to do this song called Everything I Need. In reflection of what you just ministered to us, sis, he's everything I need. How many people recognize that? Yeah. Tried a whole lot of other stuff, yeah. but found out if I got him, I got more than enough. Amen. Everything I need. Yes, sir. Amen. Uh, oh, bless his name. I'll take a little more. Come with me. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. As long as I'm so grateful this year we were able to put this video out, I'm shot it in Vegas. <laughs> We're simply trying to use everything we can to, 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 oh, to compel to this world of our religious so they can. Can y'all hear okay out there? It's okay, y'all can hear. It's all right. Okay. Refuge. Everything I need. Everything I need. Oh, Father, I'm so thankful that you you replaced all those other substitutes that I was trying to lean on. And you got some stuff out of the way so that you can get bigger in my view. Hey, yeah, it's everything I need. Yeah, you everything I need. Oh, Father, I give you praise tonight. Check it out. Oh, listen to the words. Hey, check it out. Not get your mindset, y'all. Don't you know we gon' live forever? God allowed these struggles in our lives just to make us better. Not to make us bitter. Now are you a quitter? They standing on the corner watching it like a baby. Oh, you a block sitter. I'm up the river, no paddle, bust the boat sinking. And I ain't all up in your business, man. I'm, I'm just for show preaching. Real life, yes, yeah, speaking and teaching. And I pray that we reach it. The one they call heathens. Lost in the game, yeah, be gone off the deep end. I'm not a religious wolf sneaking in sheep's skin. I'm on that gospel of Christ where God meets men. And God about the walking, not the talking where your feet bend. Whether it's the big pen or in deep sin. I found out that God saves and he keeps me, whether it's a big pen or in deep sin. Anybody know that he'll keep you? Hey, well, I've been past the point of praying for the power. I'm on my way home and I'm coming to the final hour. And he's a strong tower, how I'm going to live without him. I can't do it, man, and that's why I'm all about him. Everything I need. Oh, Father, would you stay at the center of my life? When I try to let other things creep in your way, would you begin to push and bug hard and be, be greedy for your spot in my life, God? Don't let even me put nothing before you, God. Everything I need. It's much peaceful, much more peaceful when he on the dream driver's seat. That's right. Uh, so I praise him for the struggles that I've seen in my life. Everything I've been through brought me closer to Christ. Now I fight the fight of faith to believe. Hey. And I'm focused on him who is everything I need I'm at the throne of God waiting on my manifestation About to take salvation across this lost nation Occupation, I'm the rapper, the preaching pastor A movie director, an actor, major factor About that gospel, I'm not an actor Or pretend though I sin like all men But I'm all in and I'm with him And no matter where your boy been I got joy, oh boy, I bitch chosen <laughs> anybody else been called out of the darkness into the marvelous light and you're so grateful because he didn't have to choose us but he did oh he's everything we need everything, everything that we need father would you keep us in the center of your will and let your will dominate us go ahead and fade that down for your boy oh hallelujah i got some some gifts in this place tonight that that God is going to bless us with. I want to bring my brothers up. I just, uh, and my sister, I think his wife is in here in the building as well, but I just shot a music video for them on Saturday. Um, some brothers, Brother Kareem Bennett, and the group is called Living Proof. Um, and it's a blessing to, to see God make people wait on ministry. My brother told me he had just sat everything down for a year to just spend time with his family and you know, listen to God instead of just trying to, again, like I talked earlier, just jump out and get on a platform. God got a place for you. And he also has a timing that he wants you to enter that place. And so if we wait on God, it's going to be better. 
I didn't try so many times to hear a piece of bit from God and I ran off and went way ahead of him. He said, boy, that's for the future. Like, hold on a second, slow down and walk with me, says God. But I want to bring living proof to the stage right quick. They're going to do a song called Clap Your Hands and you'll see a little piece of their music video as they get ready to come up. Amen. Is my brother in the building? Okay. Like my boy Jay Red said, I'm a professional. Wait a minute. <laughs> hey Amen. So he's using the bathroom. But so I got a CD I'm going to give away right quick. Um, I've been giving away my music for free. Uh, where did I put those CDs at? You got one? Okay, thank you. I got one right here. So I've been making CDs and giving them out because one of the things God did in my heart is I first got started trying to get on that platform and sell CDs. Um, it would be moments, kids, and people would come up to the table. They didn't have no money. And they was feeling what they just heard in ministry, and they wanted to take the music home with them, and the money was the barrier. And God was like, man, just, just give the music away. That's ministry. You didn't write them songs. The Holy Ghost wrote them. You got them for free, so act like they his and give them away and entrust it to him. And so anybody had a birthday in the last week? Birthday last week, sometime as you're crossing over into 2019. Anybody have a birthday in December? A December birthday. Okay, December birthday. Clap it up for my brother. What's your name? Damani. Damani. Okay, we're going to pray for Damani right quick. Father, we thank you for Damani. We thank you for his future. Thank you for his life. Thank you for him being here tonight. Thank you for everything and everyone that's connected to him. Would you pour your spirit out on my brother? Would you allow him to see uh, you, God, and see who he is in you, Father, that he might see the purpose and the plans that you have for him? Would you order his steps? Lead him closer and closer into your perfect will and give him the strength to fight off the enemy. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for him right now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and thank God. Get a Lord a hand. Praise. Amen. I think we ready. Living proof. Ready? Amen. Come on up. We're going to get y'all these mics. I think they ready. You can go ahead and run it. Husband and wife team, amen. amen. And DJ Howard. Amen. amen. When we say amen, it means agreement. For those that didn't know, sometimes when you come to church, them small little things you don't, you know, we take for granted. But when I was, I was one of those ones that came and sat in the back of the church and really didn't. I was antisocial, and I really wasn't too. Uh, um, I, I was just kind of. I had that street mentality where I didn't really trust too many people. And when God changes your man's heart and transforms you and you become a new creature in Christ, amen? amen. <coughs> See, it's not just a New Year's resolution. I'm sure somebody's probably told you it already, amen? You didn't come here by accident. Amen. You didn't just stumble in here. I know my brother here put, put, put a lot of time and effort into making this happen. And God bless Pastor Larry. I just want to say that. Special shout out to him. Did an awesome job the other day with our video, Clap Your Hands. I mean, I was amazed. I just had to say that. Okay, the Bible says give honor to whom honor is due. I want to give honor to my wife, being married almost 18 years with 11 kids. Somebody ought to, come on. Y'all get a little bit louder than that. Come on, man. Come on, virtuous woman, amen? She didn't know I was going to say that, but I love my wife. How many blessed women in here in the house of God right now, right? You ain't even got to say it. I already know. If you're here, I know you are, amen? My brothers and I, y'all to be like, amen. Y'all get that later on. Sorry. Anyway, I'm just playing. But anyway, um, and God began to put that in my heart, and I was, I was reading uh, the 47th chapter of Psalms, and it says, oh, ye people, clap your hands, Amen. And so I was thinking about that. Me and my wife, she's kind of feeling under the weather, but pray for her. But she wanted to sacrifice, amen. And the Lord began to put on my heart just to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I don't want to go into this year depressed, discouraged, down and out, or feeling down and out, whatever I was feeling. I want to, I, I'm glad when they said unto me, come on, I was glad when they said unto me, help me out, somebody. Come on, Pastor Mustafa. Come on. Somebody got to help me out. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of what? The house of what? 
Come on, one more time. The house of what? So the joy of the Lord is my what? Oh, my God. I think I'm in a house of some believers in the house tonight. Amen. So if y'all could just clap your hands. I need y'all to stand up. Just, just help me out, man, just with this. I need some help singing this song. It's simple. Just clapping your hands, giving the Lord a little bit of wave offer just like this. Come on, y'all. Clap your hands this season. So clap your hands this season. Come on, y'all. Say it's all right. Come on in the back. This evening, come on. Say it's all right. Clap your hands this evening. Come on. Say it's all right. Well, by the name of Living Proof, DJ Howie T, Chanel LaRue, and we are collectively Living Proof Outreach Ministry. Here to serve you and give the devil a black eye. Amen. 2019 is the year of the Lord. Let me hear scream. Inherit the birth, shall I speak for whatever it's worth? And even in the garden, I read Genesis 1. Ever since then, these heartless men been hard. Under sins, men, they still bear in the curse. All these men must work for the sweat in their brow. Not a sweat from a child. Men separated from God, no longer heavenly bound. That's why I read J to the O-N man, the 3 to the 16. Extremely redeemed. For God so loved the world and gave his life. But he stuck these girls and gave his only begotten son for those that go dumb. Save me a place in Matthew 27, man. Yeah, that's the resurrection of my section. I rep God. Jehovah tell a person ain't no soldiers left in the building. That's why he's in it. So hand me the sword of the spirit. Clap your hand, because I know y'all feel it. Sing. I got the beat. I got the rhyme. I got the soul. I got the beat. I got the Christ. I've got the flow. I got the beat. Come on. I've got the soul. I got the beat, I got the Christ, I got that truth. Oh, you clap your hands and do your dance in the sanctuary. I worship the birth of a virgin and I thank you, Mary. Party like the rock star in the upper room to the tunes. We thank you still who carry the cross. We thank you very much. He's the reason for the season. And Jesus, we still wearing a cross. Boy, they still be breathing. I stand when I stand within a coffin top. 100 million homies still ain't got enough to pay the law. When I was there, broke man, he paid my hope. Plus, he paid my call. Time to celebrate his return to rebirth with will. Cause tonight, man, I'ma clap my hands to air on the cross. I'ma celebrate his return to rebirth with will. Tonight, I'ma clap my hands to air on the cross. Come on, reach some air on the cross and get your hands up. I got the beat, I got the rhyme, I've got the soul. Come on, got the beat, I got the I've got the soul. Get him up. I got the beat, I got the rhyme, I've got the soul. I got the beat, I got the Christ, I got that truth, you gotta make it home. I got the beat, the rhyme and the flow, what's Christ in my soul, no time to do your hair, it's just time to go, heaven awaits, it's time to celebrate, with the faith and the flow, this is not my home, and elevate, celebrate, the gospel without patrol, I'm seeking the kingdom of God, sing this song to the Lord, 47 chapter, yeah, it's on, I'm shouting all the way to heaven, bring this home, come on, yeah, just living in the land, just land, the man that preached the lost tales through his head, let a beat man sing with LP and if you're tired of luck, man, let me get free. Let's get free and celebrate with me. Clap your hands and celebrate with peace. Come on, if you want to get free, all right, clap your hands and celebrate with me. Go, clap your hands this Come on, y'all. Say it's all right, clap your hands this evening. Come on, y'all. Say it's all right, clap your hands this evening. Say it's all right. Clap your hands and see me. I got the beat, I got the rhyme, I got the soul. Come on, let's rock the right to left. I got the beat, I got the Christ, I've got the soul. I got the beat, I got the rhyme, I got the soul. Come on. I got the beat, I got the Christ, I got that truth that'll make you whole. I got the beat, I got the rhyme, I've got the soul. I got the beat, I got the crush, I've got the flow. I've got the beat, I got the rhyme, I got the soul. I've got the beat, I got the Christ, I got that truth that'll make you whole. That's Jesus. Amen. Get the Lord a hand. Hallelujah. Living proof. Lift his name up high. Amen. I came to be revitalized. Amen. 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 How about you? Amen. Amen. God bless you. I'm glad to be here. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all. Living proof. Give it up one more time. Amen. God is turning some people loose this year. 
Some people that have been tucked off in the background, people was overlooking God, said, come on out and bring your gift out. Come on out and beat your drum for my glory, says God. That's some stuff in some of y'all that's still tucked in there. God said he wanted out of you this year. Put that thing in play. Bible says, cast your bread up on the water and it'll come back to you after many days. That means trust God with your gift. Oh, let me say that one more time. Trust God with your gift. Sometimes our gift, we, we, it's like we're giving it to the world and we're worried about will they receive us or not or even to the church. And I'm a little nervous about how I give this gift out because I'm giving it to people and I don't know how they're going to receive me. And now my identity is wrapped in whether they see me rightly or not. Or, and so I get lost when I'm giving stuff to people. But when I give myself to God <laughs> who knows me and, and listen to this, loves me and going to pull out of me what he put in me. Listen to this. Now I'm giving it to someone who loves me. Listen to this. Even on my worst day. So I don't have to have the fears of what I look like right now. I can actually just be what he's putting in my heart and live from that place. I told some of you before that when I was growing up playing football, one of my challenges was trying to be a running back. I wanted to pay attention to how I looked. I was watching other players on TV. And so I wanted to look like them. I wanted towels hanging and all of the stuff. It was about how I looked. And so the coach was kind of like, well, man, when you get the ball, instead of you running, <laughs> you looking. You can't run and look at the same time. You can't run trying to figure out how you look. Run and run. <laughs> and I'll tell you how you look later on when you get to the end zone. So sometimes God says, stop looking at people to see if they're going to receive your gift or not and give that thing wholeheartedly to God and watch what he start doing in people's hearts. Sometimes it's not about what people hear. Listen to this. Sometimes it's about how they see you sharing your gift and giving it out. When our sister came up and danced, she meant that. It yeah. wasn't just because there were a thousand people, 20 people. I'm, I'm dancing unto the Lord. Yeah. Our brothers and sisters that just came up, we minister to the Lord, and it's the Lord that then blesses our efforts and causes people sometimes just to see our sincerity and see the glory of God in the midst of that. I want to bring my brother up, and right before I do that, I just want to give praise to God for Pastor Mike McBride, amen, the pastor of the Way Christian Center. Let's give the Lord a hand praise for him. He might be somewhere in the back, amen. And in my sis, amen, one of the pastors and leaders here at this church, Sister Tanisha Walton, amen, is... My sis, who um, is on fire for the kingdom of God, she works as a campus minister at UC Berkeley as well. And so let's be in prayer for her even now. Father, we thank you for her and for the, the lives you put under her leadership, God. We pray that you would continue to keep the fire burning in her so that, God, you'll reach others, that you'll set them ablaze through her, God. Let her life continue to speak volumes, give her passion, give her courage in the midst of difficulties, and help her to keep doing what you called and created her to do. We give you praise right now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, and thank God. Amen. Amen. I want to bring my brother up, um, Alex. Minister Alex, God's child, just moved back from the A. Gonna let him come up here and bless us one time. He back in the bay. Hey, Amen. Go on and work, brother. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord, saints. Come on, make some noise for Jesus. Come on, he brought you to 2019. I don't know about y'all, but it was a rough year. But I'm here, amen. Wherever living proof is, I love you, my brother. It's been a, a minute since I saw you. You and your wife up here doing your thing. I tried to talk my wife into coming up, but she ain't going to do it. Y'all pray. Y'all pray for us. Amen. But I, before I got here, I always pray, what, what, God, what do you want me to say? What, you know, what, what set do you want me to do? And, you know, it's all about what he wants me to do. It's not about how I want to make the crowd feel, how I want to set it off. It's about what he wants me to feel. So I waited until I got here, and he told me. And after he told me, you got to start talking about a new creature in Christ. And, you know, the only way to get this thing right is to come to him. You must come to the Father to get the glory. Amen? So I just want to testify. Can I testify? Because there's somebody here that needs to hear this. Let's go ahead and start that track, DJ. And we're going to fade it at the end. I'll let you know when. Start it over one, one more time from the top. Y'all just sit here and just ride with me and listen to me, amen? Come on. You can 
turn it up a little bit. Give me a little more meat on that music. Yeah. Man. I'm about to get real personal with this one. Is that okay with y'all? I come to share my experience, my strength, and my hope. 9 30, 2005. That was the day that God saved my life. I walked slowly up to the detox door. I knocked it open up. The lady smiled and said, What's up? It was as if she had been mating the sun. She said, Come in, took my bag and told me get that plate in the oven. See, I hadn't ate for days. And I was so afraid, trying to be brave. When I was done, I went straight to her office. I said, I need some help. I don't want to live like this. My life is a mess. I'm hooked on narcotics. I need a rehab, and there's no doubt about it. A week later, I was in the treatment facility for 60 days, trying to change my ways. I started speaking in meetings and meeting friends. They told me God to change my life if I let them in. So I started listening, got some self-discipline, and every Sunday, while I was there, the minister came in. He spoke about Jesus and about the Bible and how the word is vital for my survival. He said to lie, bow to stumble, stay connected with praise and prayer. I finished the program and 60 hours out of there. I got back with my wife and children. That Sunday found the church and we were in the building. Because it was time for some spiritual healing. And while the preacher was preaching, I got this funny feeling. I tried to brush it off like it was nothing. Knew something was coming because all of a sudden I kept looking at the pastor because I know he's about to ask that question. Y'all know that question at the end of each church service because that's what he said. Is there somebody here that want to give their life to Christ? He said, won't you come to the altar? Get to know the God we serve. Won't you come? If you're looking for a church home, or you just need some prayer, he said, won't you come to the altar and get to know the God we serve? Yeah. He kept looking at me. Why is he looking at me? I kept talking slowly, walking while he's looking at me. I felt like something's about to happen. As people went up, I started clapping. And then the spirit made me rise up. I started getting tears in my eyes just as I made my way to the center aisle, my eyes leaking like a grown man child. Heard more claps as I got closer. And then the pastor walked over. He put his hand on my head and said, repeat after me. He started something like this. He said, do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? That he died on the cross for your behavior? And rose from the dead three days later? Man, I never felt greater. <laughs> It was refreshing like a cold glass of water. Two weeks later, got baptized with my daughter. I'm so glad he had passion for a sinner. My life changed that day when I, I kept looking at the pastor. Because I know he's about to ask that question. Y'all remember that day? That day you gave your life to Christ? Because that's when he said, is there somebody here that want to give their life to Christ? He said, won't you come to the altar, get to know the God we serve, won't you come? If you're looking for a church home, or you just need some prayer, he said, won't you come to the altar, and get to know the God we serve, yeah. Go ahead and cut that, DJ. Glory to God. Come on, come on. Give, give God the praise. Because that was in 2005. And here I stand at in 2019, still here, still delivered, because he removed the taste. So for, for somebody in this room, he will remove the taste. If it's not from you, it's from that loved one that you're praying for. Pray and pray and pray. Keep praying, and they'll be made over. Glory to God. Come on. Next track. Stand to your feet if you can. Let's party. Let's have a praise party. Can we do that together? Somebody say, say, I love Jesus. I'm a believer. Say, I love Jesus. I'm a believer. I'm a when I looked up in the sky, I cried, God, make me over. Come on. Yes, I'm made over. Blessed and made over. Looked up in the sky and cried, God, make me over. Yes, yes I'm made over. Blessed and made over. Look at your neighbor and say, God made us over. 
Look at another and say God made a soul real. Please remember everything that I told you. Come on. Yes, you made over. Your rest and made over. Only God can take a mess and, and turn, turn that, that into, into a message. message. He'll never give you more than you can handle while you're stressing. Listen. That stress will kill you if you let it. So I'm copacetic. See, I know where I'm headed. Yep, yeah, I know, I know where I'm headed. headed. But that don't mean I'm perfect, but I'm walking in my purpose. purpose. I see them serpents lurking, but that word I'm working. working. I praise him when I'm hurting. Gotta give God all my burdens. Hurtin'. One day I know for certain God, God don't, don't want to see me flirting. With the world, he's a jealous God. He want me to, to himself. himself. He made me over when I asked for help. And when I fell sick and tired, I was tired of being sick and tired. So I looked up to the sky. What you do? That's where he changed my life. That's why I don't look the same. You know what? And I don't talk the same. My attitude changed. Look, I don't, don't walk, walk the same. same. I walk in victory. Yeah. And now surpass labels. Come on. Remember, Put your hands up. Come on. Told me Come on. I was able when, when I look up in the sky. God make me over. Yes, I made over. Black and made over. Look up to the sky and cry. Yes, yes, I made over. Do us a favor. Do us a favor. Look at your neighbor and say, God made us over. Look at another and say, God made us over. Please remember everything that, that I told you. you. Yes, you made over. Bless it. Only God can take a fool and turn him into the a tool. He said, go to the world, my son, and tell the world that I am the, the truth. truth. I got to be a living witness, so I'm on the devil's, devil's hit list. list. But that's ridiculous. I'm winning because the, the fight's fixed. fixed. Now I'm victorious. It's glorious to know I'm above. Up. It's unconditional that I got be love from up, up above. above. Some of y'all done been made Nova. over. Let's keep it to yourself. Say your love. God go to church every Sunday. But, but you, you don't mean nobody else. else. No way to God's heart. God says it's to his people. people. We're talking to his people. You should be trans parents see through, then they can really see you. you. It'll show you've been made over. A one of God's soldiers since the father been clean and sober. sober. One day at a time I thought when God's my mind I do just fine. I press, rewind, rewind sometimes to remind, remind that I have come a lot a long way but I'm still growing. Come on, come Lord, on, I'm still 2019 but even when know. I cry, God, God make me over. Yes, yes. made over. Blessed and made over. Looked up in the sky and cried. God make me over. Yes, yeah. I'm made over. Blessed. Do us a favor. Look, Look at, at your neighbor, neighbor and say, say, God made us over. Look at another and say, God made us over. Please remember everything that I told you. Yes. yes. Come on, hit him one more, DC. All saints have a past, so all sinners have a future. But you don't know Christ, then let, let me introduce you. He brought me out the darkness into his marvelous light. I praise him through my trials because I have a marvelous life. I made it. I'm still motivated, fully persuaded. Because God is the greatest. Yes, God is the greatest. There's nothing he can't do. You have not because you asked not. not. When he took away them crack rocks, Satan was mad. He destroyed his plot. Why? I'm extricated from the enemy because I'm made, made over. over. Put your hands up in the air. If you're made over, over. And tell them thank you. Tell them, thank tell you. them you're grateful. Tell them you're grateful. For his grace and mercy for being faithful. Uh. So we were handpicked. We didn't deserve it, but he still did, did it. it. That's why I'm fully committed. Committed. God, I never will forget it. it. I know I'm a miracle. Lord, you're worthy to be praised. You never cease to yes. obey. So yes. one day. When I look up in the sky, I cry, God, make me over. Yes, yes. I'm made over. Bless and made over. Look, look up in the sky, I cry, God, make me over. Yes, yes. I'm made over. Over. Bless it, Do us a favor. Look at your neighbor and, and say, God made us over. Look at another and say, God made us over. Please remember everything that, that I told you. Yes, you made over. Bless it, made over. Now, seal it with a praise. Come on. 2019. Seal it with a praise. Glory to God. Yes, I made over. Blessed it, made over. <laughs> Yes, I'm made over, blessed and made over. Look at God, amen. There's some gifts God didn't had on the sideline. He calling to the forefront this year. Some people who not looking for fame and fortune, but just want to give him glory, amen. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you tonight, Father, for your ministering gifts and the way you use your people to tell your story. You not know that it is our lives, but it's his story. He uses our lives as a backdrop to tell the world who he is. So we're thankful. I want to bring up my sister Shay. And before I bring her up, I, one of the things about this sister is I, I, I see a warrior um, in the spirit. Um, the sister called me a couple weeks ago. Her daughter had made some soup and uh, wanted to feed the homeless. 
and um, knew I was going out doing some ministry, and so they called me and um, got the suit ready and met me in um, the spot I was going to have us be at. I got sent away. <laughs> Somebody was trying to sell a house, and they was like, can you turn it down, meaning off? <laughs> And I'm like, I respect it. I'm going to go on and pack up. And I didn't know where we was going to go and was driving to one spot. And I saw some young folks that was kind of in the area. And I said, I'm going to pull over there. Text her, let her know where I was. It was 23rd and San Pablo Avenue. Um, and so I just set up and start working. And uh, my sis came and they started giving out the soup. And I didn't know that afterwards there was a lady that was there that was hugging on us, worshiping and crying and getting prayer and whatnot, and uh, she told us that it was a murder in that spot the night before, and that the Lord had sent us. Oh, what a blessing to see what happened on that block that night and to know afterwards that God had ordered our steps. Meaning, listen, he shut us down, and then he sent us to another place. <laughs> Don't get mad at the shutdown. Sometimes the shutdown is a setup that God can get you right where, listen to this, where he wants you. Oh, hallelujah. Let's not be married to nothing but Jesus. Amen. Amen. How he going to do it, leave that up to him. <laughs> Let's just know he going to do it and we going to follow him. Amen. Amen. And wait our instructions. Y'all remember that Paul and Silas then was in jail. And God used what could have felt like the worst moment <laughs> to be somebody else's best moment. Amen. Amen. And so let us go where God would have us go. And so I want to bring my sister up and she's going to do a, a spoken word piece talking to the church. Amen. To the bride of Christ. Just, uh, I just want to thank God for this opportunity. You know, God pours into us, and I just, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to pour back out. He's done so much uh, for me, and I thank Pastor Larry for this opportunity as well. So uh, this is called Beloved. Dearly Beloved, I have gathered these words to join us in reconciled holy matrimony. There was a time before when you weren't aware of my presence when you were broken and kneeling in an open grave praying for grace from a desolate place. Do you remember when I met you at the altar? Willing and ready to commit, eager for a new life, a pristine love that was pure in heart, intentional of your dedication between us two? In that moment, everything placed in that place I had accepted and forgotten. Next was the after, and I watched you walk down the aisle, each step taken closer to a consecrated commitment. A holy matrimony, my most beautiful, beloved bride in all white. Oh, how your dress glowed white. Consequently, something happened. We once served the same God, our Father, who sits high and looks low. Now you have chosen ego over excellence with tainted philosophies and darkened laws that justify your sin when there is only one judge in a court where your sin would surely condemn you, but he is gracious and mighty to forgive. Yeah. Or your recollection of the love he has for you has dissipated and faded to an absent place out of the mind of your heart. My bride, your body, contorted and tortured. What is this perversion that has made you turn in a direction you weren't meant to go? You're dressed stained and filthy. You fell. But how long? How long had you stayed down in that place of filth? I held out my hand to help you out of this muck, and you snatched your hand back, your eyes blinded by the poison of a bite that, that you hid from the one that has all healing. I should serve you divorce papers, and rightly so. But, but I love you. I pray for you. Interceding that the Father accepts my mediation on behalf of your wickedness. You have become an adulterous woman before me, fornicating with every man, looking to them for your guidance and provision. They tell you lies, have you confused and filled with pride. You run to the imposter that had you at the grave in the first place. How foolish can you continue to be? It is written that when a man finds a wife, he leaves his home and they become one. My home I left was no ordinary home. It is an eternal kingdom. And me, I was no mere man. I was and am God. But I stepped off my throne to enter a perishable body, became chosen, and chose you to be my wife. We became one. Now you allow yourself to be infiltrated by one who was surely designated for a place of eternal punishment. I not only chose you, I now chase you. Because you are that important to me. 
my passion for this relationship is lasting to the end of me even dying on Calvary. Rising in victory all for you. My dear bride, turn from the error of your ways. Fall to your knees at the feet of the one who will grab you by the hand, lifting you to righteousness and royalty. If only you could see. If only you would believe. Don't continue this way or you leave me no choice but to set you free and lost in the delusions of your heart and heart. Repentance is the counseling we need to reconcile this ravaged marriage in which you failed to play your part. But I'm willing to forgive. Just don't make me wait long. It's best you come to me before the day I come back to you in the fullness of my glory. Amen. Sincerely, the bridegroom. Amen. Amen. Oh, Jesus, would you help us to heed Amen. that call that you just gave us through that spoken word piece, the call to return in full-hearted surrender, the call to come back to you um, in a desperate way. Um, help us to recognize our thirst. Many times we try to satisfy that thirst with other things, but that's really, that's a thirst for you. Father Eli... Um, and Samuel and that whole scenario and he kept hearing the voice and running to the wrong person. Oh, Father, would you awaken us and help us recognize that that thing that we're thirsty for, that desperation is not for that, it's for you. Help, help us recognize what those hunger pains are for. We don't want to spoil our appetite <laughs> eating the wrong stuff. Help us to find what we really need, which is you, yourself. Father, I pray that you will lift up our hearts to recognize that it is a privilege to be chosen by you, to be chased by you. Hallelujah. Not just loved, but to be chased after. There's some people who love us but gave up. They ain't chasing no more. But, Father, we thank you that you not only love us, but you're willing to chase us. Oh, hallelujah. We give you the praise and the glory, Father. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. And thank God. I think about that for one second. Um, as you hear the prodigal son's story, the prodigal son came home and his father, the Bible says, seen him afar off and ran towards him. You got to know how important that is. It was undignified in those times for an older man to be seen running in public. Oh, you got to hear that. It was undignified. It was like you beneath, you know what I'm saying, who you really are to be running. What you doing running? You too old. You supposed to have wisdom. You ain't need to run for nothing. But the father saw him afar off and ran to him he was willing to be undignified willing to be bruised willing to be look look funny look weak you have to recognize that's what jesus did on the cross he was willing to be looking weak look like he had no power look like that he had over, been overtaken but he was surrendering for us laying his life down for us and so let us recognize the great suffering the position he put himself in to get us out of the position we put ourselves in and let us live, amen, as if those words echo to us from our, our, our groomsmen, right? The husband that is chasing us down, that could serve us divorce papers. Oh, but he said he's married to the backslider. <laughs> he ain't gonna ever give up on us, amen, tonight. We give you praise, amen. I'm gonna do a song right quick, and then I'm gonna bring my brothers up. Uh, this song is called Something About Him. Pastor, will you help me on that hook a little bit on this? Something about him got down on the inside of me. Amen. Anybody else got got a hold of you one day and change you up? Don't push me. Why? Because I'm close to the edge. Hey, but I'm so thankful I ain't lost my head. Come on. Come on. Stand to your feet with us. I wonder how I keep from going on. How I keep from how I keep from what? Though I struggle sometimes, ain't got to wonder how I keep from going under. Hey, Jesus. Something about it. That's right. Me got into my head. Something about it. Got me trusting in everything that he said. Something about it. We yeah. ain't got into my head. Something about it got me trusting in Check everything out, hey. that he said. The land's been on the edge, about to fall off. Fall if off. Watching for the Lord, I'll be all flaws. All flaws. All lost. Jesus told me to bring the cross with me. Don't take nothing off. So you know I got my sauce with me, got my pops with me. You rocks with me with most of y'all. I would have died in the wilderness with the grace of God. Can't push pushing God. God, I'm looking. I'm hoping they can see me. Drop me 36 without giving a case. See, I'm like, 
Christ is the motto. Christ is the motto. Good like gelato. Took all my sorrow. Should not wait till tomorrow. Cause my time was tomorrow. Tomorrow. hard road. Yeah, your boy had to walk it. Real life. So that's yeah. Christ went, don't let me talk it. Yeah. My life, he bought it. I thought it was over. Uh, Just work to make a living and then die. That ain't so much. Don't be all out. Fall out. Fall out. Fall Working for the king. Stopped the scene and I was walked out. To talk about his promises. Not my accomplishments. The words, yes, we blessed to be a blessing. I'm praying. I'm going to get about the shift in overdrive. Never seen him live. And the God man who came took the blame so he can open up. Nice. And only that's kind of wise. God got my feet planted first. Standing on the Rock, knowing that it's my turn. Christ earned everything we needed. She got pleaded. The worm that needed. He needed. Got off of the very throne where he was seated. Came down as a baby in the manger. Peeping. Sin got defeated. Satan got depleted. Now we got the secret. Get it away, don't keep it. Because the world needs it. Make a routine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let it sing it. Yeah. Act like we see. Piggy on the beat. Dead a dream. Yeah, we need it. Already seen this 23 years, years ago. ago. That's the faith he gave, now we about to blow. Trying to take the high road. I'm gonna take the low. The gospel to the blind, swear they, they don't, don't know. know. But, but they, they do know. But they like them. I've been sent to help them glow. Bring Christ in. Hey. Hey. I said, don't, don't push me. Cause I'm close to the edge. But I'm so thankful. I ain't lost my head. That's right. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Though I struggle sometimes, you gotta wonder how I keep from going under. I keep from going under. That's right. Though I struggle sometimes, you gotta wonder, wonder how I keep from going under. Hey, Jesus. Something about it. Yeah. It got it to me. PLA. Come on. Something about it. Yeah. Got, got me, me trusting in everything that he said. Something about it. It's something about the Lord. Hear right, something yeah. about it. Anybody got trust, trust in the Lord in 2019? That he said. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not your own understanding. Put knowledge in all so your ways. And he'll direct I our paths. my head. Ha, 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 ha. Though I struggle sometimes, ain't got to wonder how I keep from going under. How I keep from going under. Though I struggle, struggle sometimes, ain't got to wonder how I keep from going under. Hey, 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 Jesus. Something here. Yeah, something yeah. about him he got a hold of me one day uh -huh. and started changing down on the inside. Yeah. The things yeah. I once chased after, I didn't have to chase them no more because I was satisfied down on the inside. Somebody get the Lord a hand praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise God. Right. Amen. I was sharing this piece of this story last night and one day I was got kicked off the street corner again. And moved over to a spot, and next thing I know, Snoop Dogg pulled up on me and got in the video, and I thought I had the video to put up, but he had already put it up, and the next morning I wake up, it was over a million views. The day before, I was putting my project out, and God was simply saying to me, man, just leave it to me. <laughs> I got this. This is my work. You ain't got to struggle and strain trying to get it out. I'll put it out if it's from me. Amen. The Bible says he watches over his word to perform it in our lives. How many people want God to keep his word? The promises that he made. The Bible says every promise from God is yes and amen. Listen to this other location in Christ Jesus. <laughs> every promise that God has given us has already been yes and amen because he's accomplished it. It's been paid for it's been settled in the person and the work of the Lord Jesus Christ every blessing we get Christ had to take the curse do you hear that the gospel is a message of substitution the Bible says he made him sin who knew no sin so that we might listen to this might be made sin for us so that we might be made the righteousness of God location in him God made him, looked upon him as if he had done nothing right. But he went to the cross having said, I do everything that pleases the Father. But he was taking our place as a guilty man on the cross so that we guilty people might have his place to be acceptable before God. Oh, I don't care what you did in 2018. I don't care how many times you fell down and what your struggles are. I'm telling you right now that if he's given you a brand new day, the Bible says that his mercies are brand new every day. 
Oh, he got enough mercy and grace to save you. I don't care how long you've been struggling. Get your eyes on the king. Stop fighting to get out of it. <laughs> and just let it take you sometimes and just keep your eyes on him. And next thing you know, something going to start happening down in here. Do you know Peter had power to walk on water when he was looking at Jesus? But when he took his eyes off Jesus, who's the power source, he had no power to do the impossible. The Christian life is an impossibility for us. The only ones that can live the Christian life or the only one who can live the Christian life is Christ. So then he has to live, listen to this, through us. Ooh, I'm coming down your street right now. He said, I want to live my life through you, says Jesus. This is why you have to surrender. He's not calling us first to try to be good Christians. It's to recognize I'm a bad human. <laughs> I'm a bad son. I'm a bad daughter. Now, God, would you make me something other than what I am? And Paul testifies and said, I am what I am by the grace of God. And his grace wasn't in vain towards me. He said, I labored more than a whole lot of people, but hold up, I can't take no credit. It was the grace of God that was at work in me. God says he wants to work in us this year. But you got to surrender. That surrender get tough sometimes because God will tell you to stand like this. And you're like, well, how long? All this position is is a difficult place. Sometimes God will put you in between a rock and a hard place. And you don't know how long he's telling you to stand there, but he's telling you stay right there and put a smile on your face. Didn't mama used to say that to us sometimes? You get in the back seat trying to look frustrated. You better put a smile on your face. That's we want to do it with the joy of the Lord because no matter what position he puts us in, he has a purpose behind it. Oh my goodness, Jesus got put in a difficult position on the cross, but there was a purpose behind it. Amen. Yeah. Would you put yourself before God and say, Father, I just surrender to your will. No matter what that looks like. I say to folks who are part of my worship community, I say, are you, are you willing to follow Jesus anywhere? Even if anywhere looks like nowhere. <laughs> Willing to say yes, Lord. As our brother gave us a definition on amen. I'm in agreement, God. Even if that agreement going to send me into a difficult spot. One day Paul said there was a testimony given to him by the Holy Spirit that bonds and afflictions was waiting on him in Jerusalem. And the people try to say, don't go. Don't go. There's trouble up the way. Stay here and play it safe. He said, I'm not only willing to go up there, but I'm willing to die for the glory of the Lord. He says, I got one purpose and one aim. I only want to finish the course that he set before me and testify to the glory of the grace of his gospel. Amen. Oh, that's all in. And those are the people who get Enoch. <laughs> they get taken. <laughs> They get took by God when they just fall head over heels in love for him. I used to say back in the day, I didn't went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I'm, I'm just went off my rock. I'm over the edge because I'm all about him. Oh, I pray that that's what sweeps in our heart this year. We get some of conviction to get the I can't help it. It's about him. That I, I, I tire myself out. Listen to this for him. I keep on going. I bust through walls and challenges and difficulties. Listen to this for him. He did it for us. Oh, may he motivate us to, to spend our energy and the time. Listen to this. I'm going to go back to this image. Time we got on the clock and use it for him. Remember, y'all, we in the huddle right now. There'll be moments in the game we'll come to the huddle and do just a bad play a few minutes ago. Somebody dropped the ball. Somebody blew an assignment. And we can come in the huddle and we'll start arguing with each other, blaming each other, looking at each other funny. But we're supposed to come in the huddle and say, that's all right, baby. Get it on the next play. Get your head up. Let's go, baby. We're still in the game because we're fighting from a place of victory. He already won the fight. We just got to play the game. <laughs> My goodness. How would you play if you already knew you was going to win? My goodness. Go out there and leave it all on the field. No regard. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what happened because you dropping balls, but Jesus catching it. You still score a touchdown because he is on the throne. Amen. I want to uh, get ready to bring up, before I bring the Hebrew boys up, uh, my sister, I want um, Sister Tanisha to come and just introduce her right quick. And sis, get, get your guitar ready. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to bring you on up. Let Sister T introduce her. Praise the Lord, everybody. Y'all enjoying yourself? 
This is such a blessing. Y'all huddled up. Y'all ready? Y'all getting juiced like we about to go do stuff this year. I'm over here juiced. I need Gatorade. I need a something. A towel. Get me. I'm ready. <laughs> while, while my sister um, sets up, she is such a blessing. She came out. We had a watch night party here at the way last night. And she just blessed our whole souls. So I'm so glad that I'm able to uh, see her again and uh, hear her again. Um, we're going to let her get all situated, so I guess I'm stalling. Hey, how y'all doing today? All right. Y'all have a good new year so far? I feel like I've already failed. I had McDonald's today. I already, I already failed. I already failed on my new year's. Day one, already in the books. It's all bad. I'm going to make up, drink some water today. Um, Pastor Larry, you, am, am, I, am I stalling? I'm stalling, all right. Yeah, let him have his way. I can't back up Pastor Larry. He's amazing. Okay, let's do church shout outs. Let's do that. How many people we got in the building? Can you shout out your church? Basic ministry. Basic? Oh my gosh, I love basic. Y'all here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so the way Christian, we out here, you feel me? Okay. Um, what else we got out here? What else we got? Elevate. elevate? Come on, elevate. What else? Who else we got out here? First step. Oh, I love you guys. So Pastor Wiki's in the building. First step ministries. Oh, there go my kids. Hi, guys. All right, who else we got? Shiloh in the house. Love me some Shiloh. <laughs> Guarantee presence of God every time at Shiloh. Every time. Anybody else? Him ain't got Bedside Baptist. That's how it sound like y'all got on here. Bedside Baptist. Yes? Okay. No, nobody. Everybody shame. Nobody. Nobody want to admit that. Boy, where's my husband when you need it, huh? I need him to do some jokes. Okay. Anyway. You ready, sis? I'm almost off the hot seat. There it is. Need that one? All right, I think I'm officially off the hot seat in just a minute. Yeah? This is also a good mic. That's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I want you to please give a warm round of applause for Raquel Nicole Jete. Thank you so much. Um, Pray for me as I do a song I wrote. Um, I was living in New York uh, recently, and uh, I just moved back to the Bay. I'm from the Bay, but I was living out there, and, um, and I wrote this song out there. And it's really just a love song to the Lord. This is really how I write music. I'm just worshiping, and then like a song will emerge. But this is me um, just being honest with God. You know, how many of us know that when we're honest with him, that's when he can actually help us. You know what I'm saying? So um, this was a, uh, just a real place I was in, and uh, it's called uh, Forgive Me For Being Human. You gave so much to me. You bled and died. Hung on a tree just to give me a second chance. Mm -hmm. You gave your life, then called me a friend. Ooh, Jesus, you are the one. Forgive me, I'm a wrench in need of a change in me. Lord, give me all your mercy, I'll give you faith in thee. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. Though I know you, I know that I won't. Sometimes I need you to forgive me for my sin. Forgive me for being human.
You came and taught the masses classes on being holy, righteous, but believing in you. You. Sometimes I wonder where would I be without you. I don't care to know if you hadn't shown your face on that floor. The day I reached out for you, oh, forgive me, I'm a wretch in need of a change in me. Lord, give me all your mercy, I'll give you faith in thee. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And though I know you, I know that I won't. Sometimes I need you to forgive me for my sin. Forgive me for being human. Forgive me for being human. Here you come to rescue me again. Lord, I'll give you every second you need to reach me. Hey, And you gave me a second chance to teach me. Oh my God, you called me friend. Oh, I'll give you everything I got. Though I don't always make it. Oh, you give me oh so many chances. Oh my God, you called me a friend. Even though I'm just human. Even though I'm just human. Oh, hallelujah. Do you see the Holy Spirit at work? Do you see the Spirit at work? There's some gifts that have been tucked over on the sideline, seemingly going unnoticed, but God this year is bringing some people forward. Amen. Amen. Give it up one more time for my sister. Amen. As we ministered here last night, we exchanged numbers and late night texts to her. Already got a song we working on, amen, that we finna do together. And she came to be a blessing to us today. I really feel that God has uh, charged me and empowered me to gather the body, to call gifts to come together, to huddle up so we can pour out what he's put in us. Listen to me. When you've been gifted by God, the only um, relief that you can get is to do the thing that he's burdened you to do. It, 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 it's like fire that's shut up in, the, in your bones. It's like it's an overwhelming sense of this thing got a hold of me. And the only way I can get, get this thing off of me is I got to do this thing that he told me to do. And I feel like this year there's some people who've been waiting on their turn. And God said, call them, Larry. Call the underdogs out of hiding. Call those who've been trying and waiting. It seemed like people been overlooking them. Call them, and I'm going to put them that once in the back. I'm going to put them in the front and let them usher something about my glory. Because listen to this. When you've had to wait on God, oh, there's something about when you get out there to do that thing. When you've been waiting for a long time, you mean business. You're not coming to play. It ain't for pretend, and it ain't for no show. I want God to get the glory. I've been waiting on my moment to shine for the king. God said he's calling some people forward now. Because he says the world, listen to this, needs to see those who've been hidden, tucked away for a while. There's something that we have to say to this world. Listen to this, not about ourselves, <laughs> but about him <laughs> who has become our everything. Amen. Amen. Uh, and so all in nation is simply something God has put in my hands and to use it as a way to call people around this country to huddle up together and use their very gifts for God's purpose. I want to bring my brother up and Hebrew boys, the brothers up, the brothers, bring, bring them up. Pastor Moo, Brother Solomon, 
And let them come up and let the Lord use them. They got a record release coming out on next Saturday, the 5th. We want everybody to be in the building. They'll give you some more details about that before they get off the stage. But go ahead and put your hands together for the Hebrew boys. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, he oh, called God. a huddle, huddle up. up. Amen. Amen. You know you in our world. We got to see one person that calls the huddle. I'm a football coach, so he's all in my world. Right. We got a safety, I mean, a center in his house. Bluey, where you at, Louie? He recording over there. He, he recording over there, but he's usually the one. He's an all-star center for Encinel. Give it up for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Louie, Louie, how do you call Huddle Up? Uh-huh. <laughs> Give me a little. Huddle. How, do, how do you do it, Louie? Uh-huh. Huddle Up, Huddle Up. That's what L is doing right now, amen. Huddle Up. Calling us, Amen. Into the huddle. That is the center's job to call the offense in the huddle because we got to go get the money. We got to go right. score. Amen. That's right. Amen. We got to go get the souls. Amen. We got to turn the city upside down. We got to change the make. Huddle, 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 huddle. huddle. <laughs> Amen. Call we got the, the ball to throw. Right. Yeah. One thing we tell our runners as we coaching them is when you're running toward the end zone, don't look back. Run at that goal and don't look back because looking back slows you down. So as you go into 2019, don't look back. 2008, 2018 is over. Look over your shoulder and tell it goodbye. Happy New Year, y'all. Come on, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Hey, let's wave goodbye to 2018, y'all. Look over your shoulder. Come on, man. Tell 2018 goodbye. 2000, turn that up. Let's All go. the pain you felt, those bad experiences, those bad situations, that sickness, all that that happened, tell it goodbye. goodbye. Come on. We're going into a new year. Amen. A year full of grace and mercy. Amen. God never brings us out of something without bringing us into something. Turn and so this is what we let y'all know. We didn't cross over, y'all. Wear your hands. Goodbye. 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 Turn it up a little turn bit. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn me up a little bit. Turn it up a little goodbye. bit. Sir. Goodbye. 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 That's what we goodbye. like it up. We goodbye. like that hip hop. Tell the tell the tell the devil man. Tell the tell the tell the sickness man. Goodbye. You can no longer have man. Who the sun sets free is free. Goodbye. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. That's what we said in 2018. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. goodbye. Come on, uh huh, uh huh. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. You see my daddy from the R, my mama from the red. Christ whipped that together and made a cold man. I'm a product of the bloodstain, purchased by the king. Cocker in the city with a rock and a sling. Me and my team, yep, yep. We intervene. Deep up in the tracks, laying hands on me. I'm my belly flop string. I'm faithful to my ring. I'ma raise my kids, I'ma lead my queen, baby. Tell that devil bye. Boy, bye. Be about, grab your stuff, and get up out my house. As for me and my familiar, yeah, yeah, tell that devil, tell the tell that devil, tell that tell that tell that devil, mind. tell that tell that tell that sickness, mind. You can no longer have mine. Who the sun set free is free. Come on, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Yeah, yeah, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I said G double O D B Y. My daddy from the O and my mama from the ring. I'm a starter on the mound, bro. Always had to pitch. Saying bye to the Molly, Molly, bye to the Percocet, bye to them Jimmy Tech, killing people on the set, bye to them jail cells, eating spreads every night. Yes to the Lord, though, who gave me a new life. Bye to acting like I'm happy, but I'm really not, though. Running for material, but this is more powerful. Bye to being police, kicking in my front door, hitting. Big swallowing dough, running, running through the ghetto. By the being Luke, one my God, I really represent the blood of Jesus. This Christ. is here we represent. Really Come on, tell the tell the tell the devil mine. Tell the tell the tell the sickness mine. You can no longer have mine. Who the sun sets free is fried. Right. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Come on, wear your hands to two eight. Goodbye.
goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye, 2K18. Hey, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. G double O G B Y. Make some noise for Jesus. One thing we tell our offense. See the difference. I coach offense by the grace of God. We just won a uh, national championship. Yeah, yeah, regional yeah. Regional yeah. championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We win trophies, huh? Trophy boys. Trophy, trophy. And one thing I tell the office, you got to be aggressive. You got to attack. See, the difference between offense and defense, offense attacks. Defense reacts. Right. So on offense, we tell you, you got to fire off, bro. You can't go into this 2019 scared and spooked and worried and murmuring score. and complaining. You got to score. You got to We got to score. We got to score. Yeah. Amen. Go into this, hallelujah, go into this year by the power and the authority of the Holy Ghost and lay this year down. Come on. Amen? Amen. God said pursue Correct, after it. Amen. I hear Pastor P.L. Neighbor saying that pursue after it. Amen. Go after it. Amen. Go after it. Right, Amen. Say, go one, get it. Amen. What you say, if we don't block, we don't win. We got to block. Come on, let's, let's go. Let's block down. Come on. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it Holy up. Ghost party. Hebrew boy. Come on, Hebrew boy, man. It goes a little something like this. Hey, guess, guess who's back? back? We make mounds collapse. They call me the hood priest when I'm blazing these tracks. See, I'm built unique. Say, so set the fire with the cutter to the streets. The streets. Hey, what you know? We put the devil on the run from the rich to the odds. CGs be the reason I hit the trouble, start screwing, leave the whole block leaking, thinking of a master plan. See, I didn't humble myself to my master, man. Now we saving them, saving them, preaching the gospel, preaching the gospel, raising them, raising them, hopping the force, hopping the force, scraping them, scraping them. We see the city, 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 taking them, taking them. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. I pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block down. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. I pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block down. Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block. Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block. Come on, down, 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 down. Pull out my hey. big Bible, lay your whole block down. From the crack sack to the backpack, from the dope house to the church house. Pull out my big Bible. It used to be my rifle. Your boy was no shenanigans. I didn't see bodies lay stiff like a mannequin. Shh, shh, but Christ, he redeemed me. Now I got the Hebrew boys logo on my beanie. I'm so Bay Area, dipped in his blood. Pull out my big Bible, draw down on the thug. Just because I'm saved, don't be thinking I'm a sucker. Slide through the jack, still post with the youngsters. Turn for the Lord. All the way up. Too tough, too tough. Yeah, your boy, too tough. With his Hebrew boy flavor, and they can't get enough. Gas break, mush. Christ, I do a push. The Christ, I do a push. Keep on. Nobody move. Nobody make a sound. Nobody move. Nobody make a sound. Nobody move. Nobody make a sound. I pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block. Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block. Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block. Down, 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 down. Pull out my big bubble, lay your whole block down. Heaven's overlooking you. Hebrew boys on the move. Here to make the good news. Hoping that you want to lose. Roll a miracle. Hands down, he the king. He created everything. Hey, it was all a dream. I was a deep boy slugging all the cream. Now I'm on the team. Who represents Christ? He's the. Yeah, you know I mean. Boy, what you heard? Word on the street, Drizzo was a beast. Now I serve the king, he's my one, he's my true, he's my everything Ding! He said follow me, so I follow him Watch the way me see so I live for him For sure, I'm getting down. pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block Nobody move, nobody make a sound This is a freeze, this is a stick up Nobody move, we are now under arrest By the Holy Ghost, come on, come on Nobody move, nobody make a sound I pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block Down, 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 down,
Put on my big Bible, lay your whole block down. When I say Jesus, y'all say Christ. Jesus, Christ, Jesus. When I say holla, y'all say hallelujah, holla, hallelujah, holla. When I say give him some, y'all say praise, give him some, give him some. When I say happy, y'all say new year, happy, happy. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. Nobody move, nobody make a sound. I pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block down. Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block down. Pull out my big Bible, lay your whole block down. Down, 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 Make some noise for Jesus. We in the huddle. Everybody say, huddle, 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 huddle. I can't hear you, Louie. Hey, I got to run another play. Whoa. I can't hear you, Louie. Hell, you might have to come on in for this play. No. <laughs> hey, man. Water, water. Amen. One thing we always tell our boys is that they're the best. Well, one reason we win because we tell them you don't supposed to lose. That's right. And if we lose in the way we train and the way we push it, something's wrong. That's right. Why go through all this hardship? Hard work, days in and days out to get on the field and lose. That's right. Why go through all the pain you had to endure? All the losses and the sacrifices. Right. The, twi- the tears <coughs> to get in life and lose. Uh, you cannot read the Bible. Well, here you hear our Father, our Lord, our coach right. telling us we're going to lose the game. Right. I don't see it. <laughs> He said stuff like, you're more than conquerors to him. That's right. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. That's right. No weapon formed against you shall be out of prosper. Come on. Do you know who you are? You're the yes, sir. You're the, you're the blood washed. You're the Holy Ghost filled. You're the sanctified. Uh, do you understand who you are? You're the children of the Most High God. Amen. Who created heavens and earth. Yes, sir. That's your daddy. Can't say the devil's all that because your daddy said I watched him fall like lightning. Come on, I threw him out of heaven. You don't suppose to lose. That's right. When the children of Israel start to lose, they said something is wrong. Sin must be in the camp. There's a hater somewhere. This is the year we got victory. How many know you got the victory? This is the year we declare. It's cool to be a Christian. Christian. Come on. It's cool to be a Christian. It's cool January to be a Christian. 5th. I didn't think it was that cool when I first came into, you know, into God, but it really is cool. It's a new life, new beginning, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So it's cool to be a Christian, youngsters. It's cool. It's fly. It's fly. January 5th, God has blessed us. We leave our next Saturday. This Saturday upcoming. Oh, it's this Saturday. It's called Cool to Be a Christian. That's what we want to let the world know. This life is not a lifestyle of rules and religious rituals. This is a lifestyle of power. That's right. This is a lifestyle of God's glory. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Come on, DJ, let's go. Here we go. January 5th, come on now. Uh, San Leandro. Uh, uh, come on, uh, uh, turn it up. Uh. See, see, uh, I ain't scared. Uh, no, 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 no. Just in case you didn't know, you're not rocking with the boys. Yeah, yeah. Just in case you didn't know, and now I'm rocking up the boy. It go a little something like this. I was, I was married to the gang. gang. It, it was him on B. It was death before time. Either, Either him or me. me. This is coming from the heart. Past suicidal thoughts. Devil had me in the cross. cross. Had me feeling so lost. My God. This, this is for the gangsters, pimps, studs, tossing them bottles up, thugging your whole life, screaming you're out and die, sitting on 25, hoping you make it out, my God. We make it cool to be a Christian, them Hebrew boys shining, we grinding, we on a mission. Came to get it popping, not stopping the Holy Spirit. Once was in the five to nine, I was a monster. Now I'm on top of the mountain, I'm going harder. Even though the devil be tempted to make it harder, never quitting, representing the Holy Father. I hey, guess we what, y'all? Cool be a Christian. Hebrew boys are swagging, boy. Did I mention? Wow! We make it cool to be a Christian. Jesus in my grill. Jesus in my grill. My phone chill. Got Jesus in my grill. Hebrew boys are swagging, boy. Did I mention? Wow! 
We make it cool to be a Christian. Jesus in my grill. Yeah. Jesus in my grill. Yeah. My phone chill. Got Jesus in my grill. Yeah. Ain't nobody better. I'm the ghetto Mick Jagger. Plus the black Jimmy Swagger. Got Jesus. Jesus in my grill. Put down the guns, little bro. That's should not kill. With my chance sweat suit. With my chains on my feet. I make a cool to be a Christian. In my vet two seat. Though my God ain't cheap. And my favor ain't fair. I feel like Sansa, bro. You wanna cut my hair? My style kind of bossy. Hero boys flavor. Rag goose saucy. With my Bible in my boom box on the world tour. Blessed by the most high, so they won't bore. From Oakland to the rich town. I'm airy and back down. Cool like a beach cruiser on some fresh tire. Hero boys are so you know they want to spy yeah. Ain't nobody fly, put yeah. your hands a little high yeah. like Cali on fire, yeah. like Cali on fire He yeah. was a swaggin' boy, did I mention? Wow. We make it cool to be a Christian Jesus in my grill, Jesus in my grill My phone chill, got Jesus on my grill He was a swaggin' boy, did I mention? Wow. We make it cool to be a Christian Jesus in my grill, yeah. Jesus in my grill yeah. My phone chill, got Jesus on my grill it's like one to the two to the three to the four He gave us the power to make you rock and roll Now at the Holy Ghost when it rocks your soul We been glory to the Father, now we rocking the globe yeah, yeah. Follow me, follow me, follow me, amateur Me and Jesus pulling up in the brand new Challenger See you now, blessed times two Been dipped in the blood from my head to our shoe Got money in the bank, like close for a week Got a good paying job and a ride that's clean Got a beautiful queen and two healthy kids I'm I'ma run to the peak of the mountain and tell the world what he did What's that? You see my Lord brought me back like four flats on the Cadillac I'm gonna be driven by man See I don't know how to act, I get ugly with my pride All up in the church doing my dance like that He was worth the swaggin' boy, did I mention? We make it cool to be a Christian Jesus in my grill, Jesus in my grill My phone chill, got Jesus in my grill He was worth the swaggin' boy, did I mention? We make it cool to be a Christian. Jesus in my grill. Yeah. Jesus in my grill. Yeah. Mouth on chill. God, Jesus in my grill. Yup, yup. God bless you. Yeah. Make some noise for Jesus. Louis, let me hear you. Hold on, love. One more time. Make some noise for the Hebrew boys. Bless you, Pastor Mo. Hey, man. It's some gifts that's been off on the sideline. <laughs> God said, I'm about to bring all that to the forefront. And listen to this. It's going to take multiple voices and multiple gifts. Listen to this. Working, saying the same thing in different ways. Because you don't know what's going to work for him or her. For that person and what they've been doing. He said, I can't use a PLA or Larry for that. I need a Hebrew boy for that. And I can't use a Hebrew boy for her. I need to go ahead and use my sis, Sister Jeanette. I got to use the people that God has given gifts to so that we can get in our lane. We don't have to fight for our place. <laughs> Jesus has already given us our place. <laughs> we just all got to now shine for his glory. I want to get ready to close our night with just a few moments of, of worship in the word and a time of prayer. Because that's what's going to help us run forward in this next year is his word. The word is a light and a lamp. It shows us which way to go and which way not to go. It helps guide us. And when I'm finna go too far over here, the word pushes me back on the path that he has for me. And so we need God's word. And there's a passage that I will put before you tonight. Um, and ask the Father to, to raise it up, not only in our hearing, but raise it up in our hearts. So that when we leave, that something about this word would stick with us. If you would put that passage up for me, my brother, in Thessalonians. And I'll grab my phone and use that. Um, Father, we do thank you that your word has the power to break through the blinders, break through the stony hearts, break through our faking and our flossing. Your word has the power to meet us right where we really are. Beyond the mask and the face, you're able to speak to parts about us that nobody else knows. And so tonight, would your word do that for a few minutes to both unite us in deeper commitment and connection with you, but then send us forward from this place with a shared perspective and a shared burden. The Bible reads in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, it says, uh, Paul, Silvanius, and Timothy, 
unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a safe place for the church to be. You do know the church is not a place, it's a people. And look at where the church dwells. The church is in God the Father, and it's in the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> The church is a spiritual community of people who've been awakened spiritually from the dead and they have huddled up around Jesus. And when we come around Jesus, we find other people that Jesus didn't got a hold of. And listen to this, wherever those people gather, listen, that's the church. <laughs> They can meet outside, inside, upside down. They can meet wherever. But when those people gather together, ushered in by God's spirit, therein lies the church, the people who believe in Christ. He says, we give thanks to God always for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. We remember without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. So he says, I remember three things about you as Paul was away in prison, thinking about this church, this group of people who didn't think nothing about Jesus. Paul went on his mission, doing what God had told him to do, standing up in the city places, preaching the gospel of Christ, going from house to house, telling people about the goodness of Jesus. Some people believed in his testimony, though they had never really heard the truth about Jesus, till God sent him on that mission to tell them about the Savior. Amen. Do you not know God is still doing that in the world today? He's calling people to himself like Paul's who were 100 miles an hour in the other direction. He's calling them to surrender to himself, and then he's sending them out on a mission for his glory. Well, a group of people heard the witness about Christ and were brought to believe. And Paul says, I remember as I think about you that you worked, listen to this, that you had a work of faith that was without ceasing. Oh, we need that this year. Some of us quit a little early in 2018. Some of us got tired and had some setbacks and you gave up and you was ready to throw in the towel. He says, I remember something about the church when God gets a hold of his people. They work without ceasing. Do you know that's the only way that you're going to get the job done is if you keep working? Oh, hallelujah. Listen to this. I'm asking God, give me a desire not to be famous, but give me a desire to be faithful. Oh, my goodness. Did you hear what I said? I don't want to be famous. I tried that before. It ain't all that it's cracked up to be because once you get known for something, you got to keep that up. That's a tiring job. My goodness. But to be set free to serve God and just be who you are because he created you who you are. As our sister sung, thank you for forgiving me for just being human sometimes. That God still going to use us. He says, I remember that you had a, a work that was produced by faith do you hear that may our work this year for him be produced by trust in christ Ooh, there are some things that in order for you to do it you're gonna have to just trust god like he ain't gonna tell you how it's gonna work out sometimes we don't do it because we can't see how it's gonna turn out so we shy away from it but god said the only way you're gonna get it done this year is you got to just go ahead and do the thing and you'll see the results afterwards he said, I already done made promises to you. I can't go keep promising everything. I already said I'm with you. Now go ahead and do the thing so we can get on up the road about our business, says God. A work produced by faith. There's a story in my own journey. My daughter, her name is Faith. And um, one day we were at home. She was maybe about three, four years old at that point. And um, it was a Saturday. We had ate breakfast. We watching cartoons. And I'm like, let's have some fun. So I tell her, go up the stairs. We had some apartment. It was an apartment with some stairs inside the house. And I said, go on up the stairs and, and jump down. I'm going to catch you. And, and I didn't tell her to go all the way to the top. I was just halfway up. And it's going to be fun. I know it's going to be fun, but she don't know it's going to be fun. She's scared. She up there, but she's looking down at me. And I'm saying, baby, I got you. Just jump. I'm going to catch you. And she's looking at the stairs. And I ain't as convincing as the stairs right now. But I kept talking to her. No, no, no. I see you afraid right now. I got you. Just jump. I'm going to catch you. And she went around in circles for a few minutes. Fear. I believe you fear. And then finally I seen her close her eyes. And she basically just said, I'm just going to trust him. Ooh. She jumped. I caught her. I looked down at her. She looked up at me. And all she said was, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I had to finally tell her, all right, let's take a break now. I'm tired now. 
But listen to me, on the other side of her fears was the greatest experience maybe in that moment of her journey, a thrilling moment that she kept wanting to do it over and over again. God said, you keeping you from some of the greatest joys in your life because you letting fear rob you. I told you, I got you. I told you I would be with you, never leave you, nor forsake you, but you're still scared. Stop looking, close your eyes, and believe what the Lord has said. I'm going to catch you. A work produced by faith. There was a labor that they had that was produced by love. They, they had such a love for what God had did for them, and they were made to know that love that came down from God. It turned into love flowing through them from God. Love came down from God, and now that I got a love for God, there's a love that comes through me about God to other people that they might know about the same love. God ain't going to make his gospel come down out of the sky and just make people know it. He's going to use people to tell people. <laughs> Our brother did the song about the testimony. That question get asked. God said, you they're going to be the one asking the question. And people are going to be being brought into the kingdom through your life. The labor that was produced by love. And there was a patience of hope. One of the hardest things for us is to wait on God. Right. But you know, because God is sovereign, he's never in a rush. People who are in a rush, sometimes they're doing it because they're trying to prove something. God said, I ain't got nothing to prove. I am who I am. <laughs> I run everything. I got power. I use it when I want to. And so if I said it, it's going to come to pass. And so what you got to do, God says, is trust. It says they had a patience, listen to this, that was undergirded by hope. Mm, uh -huh. See, see, I can't be patient if who I'm waiting on is unfaithful. Oh, my goodness. Uh, my patience going to wear out because I don't believe they're going to come through. They didn't say they was going to do it before and they didn't show up. And so, but he says, no, we were able to wait on God because we know who God is. He's the God who keeps his word. As I said earlier, he watches over his word to perform it. So they had these three things going for them. They were working based on faith. They were laboring based on love. And they had a patience that was driven and undergirded by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. And they did this in the sight of God and our Father. Do you know that your life is lived in God's eyesight? Let me get closer to y'all, this shadow. We don't just live before people. We live before God. The stuff that people can't see, God sees. And God is not, the beauty of God is he's not even asking us for perfection. He's asking us at the core to live like we know. Well, let me stop there. What, what we call that back in the day was you better get some act right. Right, like It's like live like you know I'm standing next to you. There's some things that we do we wouldn't do if, if somebody was standing next to us. And so what we got to recognize is God is always standing next to us. And let's live in a way in those moments to honor him. The Bible says in Titus 1.16 that there is a people who profess to know God, but by their works they deny that they know God. They mouth saying one thing. But they life saying another thing. <laughs> oh, don't serve him with just your mouth this year. Don't just let your lips praise him. Let your life praise God. Let your life say hallelujah. He says, knowing, brother, because those three fruits of the spirit came forward, we know you've been chosen by God. Verse 5 says, because when our gospel came to you, it came not only in word, but it came in power and by the Holy Spirit's power and in much assurance as you know what manner of men we were among you for your sake. So Paul says we weren't really special men. We just had been sent with a special assignment. Ministers, we can't make ourselves too much. God has shut us down when we try to be too important. You know God don't need us. Don't need our gift. He can get along just fine without us. But the grateful thing is God has included us in his plan and what he's doing in the world. And so let us do it wholeheartedly, but do it with a sense of reverence that the only way I'm doing this is because of you, God. I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it because of and for your glory. It says that when verse 6, and you became followers of us. And of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction and with the joy of the Holy Ghost, so that you were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Achaia. 
For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also in every place that your faith towards God has been spread abroad so that we don't even need to speak anything. For they themselves show us what manner of entering in we had unto you and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. Let me close by saying this. He says something important. That their lives, in verse 8, it says, For from you sounded, out of the, sounded the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, but also every place that your faith towards God has been spread, that we don't even need to say nothing. So Paul is saying, I tried to go to a city and tell them what happened when I came to y'all city, but they said to me, we already heard about it. No, no, Paul was saying, I went to tell them about what happened when I came to y'all, but by the time I got to them, they was telling me we already heard about what God had did and those people who wasn't thinking about Jesus and how they did a couple things. Listen, they turned from idols. You know what that is? That's repentance. Whatever they was focused on before, they lost sight of that and they turned from that to serve the living God. This is what the word causes to happen in us when we hear it by the Spirit's power. He says that for from you or out of you sounded forth the word of the Lord. My mind goes to this thought process. Back in the day when they wanted to get people's attention in the town square, there would be somebody when the king or somebody was about to come out, they would come up saying, hear ye, hear ye. And somebody would come out and start banging a drum like, boom. People just working, people at the house. But that sound means something. They, said, they just kept going, boom. This year, God said that's all he wants to do with our lives. He wants to set us in certain places and from our lives. We the drum. He just want to go. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when people go start saying, what is that sound? And we get the moment to testify. So that they might hear about the glory of the Lord. From out of our lives in 2019, may the word of the Lord go forward. His word to this world, which is, come unto me. All who are heavy laden, burdened down, and I will give you rest. Listen, the word has to come through us. Yeah. And so tonight I'm going to ask you to do something as we come together in prayer. Um, tonight I'm asking you to, um, whatever this thing is for you this year, like what, what is God calling you to focus on? I'm not asking New Year's resolution. Just this thing that I know I got to do this. If I don't do nothing else this year, I know God is putting me, to, like, this is the thing I got to be about this year. I want you to come and bring that thing with you to the altar. We're going we gonna to spend a few minutes in prayer, and I'm going to have some people praying for each other, and we're just going to spend some time. And I want you, after we end this prayer, I want you to just tell a couple people that thing that you're asking God to do in you, in spite of you, through you, for you, so that we can be connected. Because over the course of this year, we're going to keep gathering in the huddle. People are going to keep asking you about, hey, how you doing with that thing? <laughs> that thing that God is calling you to do. I want to do this as the first start of the year so that when we come together at the end of this year, some of these things that we present to God on tonight, these things that we're reminded of tonight from God, that we'll see some manifestation has happened at the end of this year. That's one of the charges God has put on my heart. And so as you put that prayer music on in the backdrop, just very lightly, I just want to take a few minutes and invite you to come up to the front with that thing in your heart. And we're going to spend some, some time in prayer. Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you that from, from, from our lives, you want to get glory. That out of us, you want to do something in this world, something that hasn't been done yet. You want to say some things that some people haven't heard yet. You want to, you want to cause some things to happen that, that haven't happened in some people's lives. And we are your vessels and your vehicles to get your word to them. You want your word to flow out of our very lives, the fabric of our being. You want to be speaking to this world through us tonight, Father, as your children come. We come to gather around your presence. We come to literally get in the huddle even now. That we would rally up together to say all of us have a calling from God. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works that you preordained for us to walk in before the foundation of the world. Tonight, call forward the gifts, God. 
Tonight I'm praying that you would arrest us with a sense of your presence and your love. Because um, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. You can come in here tonight um, and say, I don't, I'm, I'm not even resting in the work of Christ. I don't even, I don't even know the Lord in the same way. I'm not even with the Lord. That's even not my desire. I came with somebody else tonight. But I'm telling you that tonight you are not here by an accident. You're here that you might overhear the conversation God is having about you in heaven. That you are his son. You are his daughter. That he loves you. That you were chosen before the foundation of the world. And you've been given something to accomplish in this life. Some of us God has frustrated. Because we've been trying to do our own thing. Or maybe we've been trying to do the thing he called us to do. But do it in our own way. This year, God is saying simply trust him. Get out of the driver's seat and allow him to take the wheel and lead you into the future and the destiny that he has for you. Father, I pray for those who would come forward tonight and they're saying, I don't know what God is calling me to do. I'm not sure. I don't have a sense of direction. I'm not, I'm not certain about the things he's calling me to do. But God, I'm asking you tonight that you will begin to show me. That you will begin to give me some discernment tonight. That you would help me see what you see about me. Let me see myself in your eyesight. How I look to you. Let my identity be shaped. Not by the way this world has treated me or treated my gifts. They may have laughed at me or looked at me like I don't got it. But Father, if you gave it, I got it. Help me to use it now. Let me take not the dust off of it and the, the fear of shining before this world. Let us, let us actually worship you by putting our all into the gifts you gave us. Oh, Father, I thank you for the great example you gave me of my brother Mike back there that's working on the sound and how he's pushing for excellence. It could feel to somebody like you're doing too much, but when you're doing it for your glory, you put everything you got on it. Father, let somebody else get that feeling about their life. That they're going to give a day all this year. They ain't going to stop going halfway. Going to stop tiptoeing through the hole. And they're going to go in and hit the hole like they're supposed to hit. And run through to the other side. Oh, Father, take the shackles of fear off us this year. Help us to overcome ourselves and get out of our own way this year. And just go on and do the thing. Help somebody this year, God, to close their eyes and leap. Help somebody this year to take that jump into your arms and actually say, I trust you, Lord Jesus. My gift, my life, my time for your purpose. Oh, Father, lift those hands up. Father, we lift our hands to you tonight. And we're asking you tonight to pour in us a fresh anointing, God. A fresh infilling of the Holy Spirit's power. Overcome our weakness and our blindness tonight. Help us to see what you see for us this year. Some people came out of 2018 into 2019, still carrying 2018 with them. Father, help our eyes to be open to what you see for this year. That there's a great hope before us in the midst of difficulties. God, I need you tonight. Stir up the gifts within me. Order, order my steps. Oh, that's the thing that we need to get close to. Like, you call the shots. <laughs> Tell me where you want me to go. Tell me what you want me to do. Boss me around this year. Because, listen, if you have your way in my life, I'm going to be where I need to be. <laughs> So go on and talk to me how you got to talk to me, God. Father me. Coach me up, God, so I can finally line up because I want the victory. Pastor Moose said, we ain't supposed to be losing. Something wrong if we lose it. My goodness, you may go through a setback, but it ain't it's a, nothing but a setup. Joseph got told he was going to be given something, and even though life happens strangely, God is the God who will keep his word. And so tonight... I'm praying that, Father, your children that have gathered themselves, there's some others that's sitting out there that need to be in this huddle right now. Oh, salvation is not a matter of the feet, but it, it, we can say amen with our feet. <laughs> Sometimes we vote with our feet, and so would you rally in the huddle with us tonight? Father, fall on us tonight. Let your spirit come down on us tonight and shake the shackles of fear off us tonight. Open up our blinded eyes tonight, God, that we can see what you got for us to do, God. We need your power. We need your delivering power, God. We need the freedom of the spirit, God, to set us free for purpose this year. Oh, that you would cause us to turn from idols to serve the living God. 
Oh, God says he want all of you this year. He said, don't give him half this year. He said, he don't want 75%. He said, he want everything. He said, I want it all. God is greedy. <laughs> he said, listen, it belongs to me. Give me my stuff back so I can use it. I got stuff to do, says God. Oh, Father, would you arrest us by your spirit? Awaken us afresh to the destiny that awaits us a destiny of a life of purpose. Though we will have hills and valleys in this life, you want us to get so caught up in the journey that we're not so uh, worried about the destination. Where you're taking us, it don't matter as long as you with us. As long as you go with us, we go anywhere, God. It's, I got joy when I'm with you. I got peace when I'm with you. So wherever we want to go, God, wherever you want to lead me, walk with me this year. Let me experience your presence and a greater magnitude. That's my prayer. Some of my deviations last year were because I lost a sense of your presence. Oh, this year, God, come a little closer to me. I'm confessing I need you. I need to feel you wrap your arms around me, God. I need you to stir up new affections down on the inside. I need you to give me new joy and new strength this year, God. I want to do your will, but I can't do it on my own. But Father, if you would let the Spirit come, Oh, the power I need for the victory. Lift them hands up. Father, we thank you. We lift our hands to you. We're saying it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Father, I need you to do a new thing in me, God. Re restart me over again. I'm just clay on the potter's wheel. And Father, would you make me over again this year? Give me more stamina and strength. So when those challenges come this year, I won't fold up and throw in the towel. But this year, I'll be able to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Because I know my labor is not in vain. Father, I pray for the young people that are in this place who are still in school and in the midst of challenges and so hard to hear your voice with all of those distractions and all of those other things that are so important. Father, would you pierce through? You say that your sheep, they know your voice and the voice of a stranger they won't follow. Father, I'm asking you to speak in a clear way to your children this year. Let them understand that their destiny is not to wait till later on, but the destiny is to serve you right now. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. It ain't no age on praising and living for him, but right now where we are, we can give ourselves to the king. Oh, Father, this is what we need. As you're here, I'm closing with this last thought. In 2 Corinthians, there was a group of people in challenges, in their poverty. They gave a great gift. Listen to me. This year, God says he wants to cause some great things to happen. Listen to this. Even in the midst of difficult things happening. God says, I'm not just coming to fix your circumstance first this year. He says, this year, I'm coming to fix you. And that in the midst of that circumstance, a glory is going to shine. A word is going to sound forth out of your life from that difficult place that says God is good. God is a keeper. He still got power no matter what I've been through. God is still on the throne and because of him, I'm pushing forward. They were in a poverty place, but they got so in love with Jesus that they heard about some other people who were struggling. And out of their poverty, the Bible says they gave. And Paul was telling the church at Corinth how they did it. It says first they gave themselves to God. Then they gave the money. Oh, listen to me. God says before you give your gift, before you put something on the altar, God said, I don't want that first. He said, I want you first. You jump in the offering basket. <laughs> you be the offering to me this year, says God. He said, I don't want that. I want you. This is the year that we give ourselves to him so that his purposes can be fulfilled in our lives. Because listen, if he has his way, we win. <laughs> if we have our way, I don't know what's going to happen. But if he have his way, we win. So Father, we last time lift our hands up to you. Hands lifted is a sign of surrender. It's like a little child who who has been alarmed and I'm just little but I hear a lot of noise or a dog is around and I don't even know who this person is but I'm reaching my hand saying pick me up. Our hands are lifted because we're saying this year Father pick us up. Hold us in your arms and 
don't let us go. Carry us through this year, and not just carry us through the year to make it to the end safely, but as you carry us, uh, pull out of us the things that need to get we need to get rid of, and put in us the things you want us to keep on a, on the journey, God. And then we're asking that you would use us. Yes. Our greatest joy is being found in your perfect will. Tonight, let your perfect will begin afresh in our lives for this year. 2019, we're surrendering it to you, God. Whatever you want, our time, our talent, our treasure, our lives for your glory, for your purpose, for your aims. Take all of us and use us. Give us eyesight to see it the way you see it, God, so we don't get weary in our well-doing, knowing that if we don't faint, we will reap. And so, Father, we want to be fruitful this year. <laughs> faithful and fruitful. Hallelujah. I want to be faithful and fruitful in 2019 because this is the year of favor. The favor of the Lord be upon us. Oh, we thank you tonight. We give you the praise and we give you the glorious in Jesus' name. We pray. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank God and amen. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand praise. Walk back to your seat. Tell somebody what you've given God this year as you prepare to walk back to your seat. We're going to get ready to close this out. And I just want to simply do two things before we close. Did you guys enjoy yourself tonight? Amen. 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 We got a couple announcements we're going to make. But as we get ready to close, there's two things I want to do. Well, there's one, one thing I'm going to do and two things that will flow out of that. We're going to take an offering tonight, um, and I'm going to ask you to give. Uh, tonight, I want to be a blessing to our brother, our sound man in the back, man, has been holding it down for us. Thank you, my brother, serving the king, wanting excellence out of it. I want to bless him tonight. And then secondly, I just want to take a small offering for what we're doing and starting to do with Elevate Gospel Outreach in all the nations. Simply, God has told me to do a couple things, which is to go into the highways and the byways and compel men to come to Christ. He's like, that's your task. You go do it. And then outside of that task, I also want you to rally my people and let them be reminded it's something that they got to do, too. They may not be called to do what you've been called to do, but I want you to gather my people so y'all can rally up together. So now from this huddle, we all run out, dispatched to different places to do the thing God has called us to do. We're going to be traveling around the Bay Area and the country doing this taking some of the folks who are here. There are going to be other folks who are in other cities waiting on us. Um, but we see a movement of God happening across the world, really, where people are saying, I'm tired of sitting on the sideline. I want to get in the game, coach. And we ain't looking for no record deal. Ain't nobody got to stop doing what they've been doing. Keep your name, your brand, all of that. All we're saying is every now and then, throw your gift in the gumbo pot and let us go out here and do something for the king and let him get glory out of us together. One can put a couple thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. The more we get together and use our gifts, God can do more with us. And so I'm asking you tonight to sow into that work because we want to be able to just pull up on churches, to call a church and not wait for them to ask us to come, but to say, God, put y'all on our hearts. We coming. <laughs> and we got the resources and the people power. and We on our way and we're going to go set up shop. It's been a lovely thing for me to just go to spots and pull up on people. No invitation, no warning sign, just coming. Jesus, you say, all in the grill, all up in their face. And to see the moments of worship that have happened, listen, out of simple, crazy obedience, to do something that looks strange. You know, most times when you see a preacher standing on the street, you think he's crazy. I ain't crazy. I'm crazy about Jesus, but I ain't crazy. <laughs> My goodness, I've been called to see that the time is winding up, and how will they hear without a preacher? If they ain't coming in here, then we got to go out there where they at. And so God is calling us to bind together and create a movement that allows Christ to go into some places that he wouldn't be able to get to otherwise. He could, but he actually uses people, so he's going to send us. And so I want you to sow tonight um, into that. It'll just be one offering taken, and we'll bless our brother, and we'll use some for our next event. And so it looks like on a monthly basis, we're going to try to gather together. 
I don't know how it's going to happen in all detail, but I feel that in my spirit. And so, so T, be in prayer with me because we're going to again travel, but I feel like we always can have a spot if we need to just rally here. We'll be able to huddle up and come together once again because you know the battle going to get tough in a couple weeks, right? You know in about a month, you know we all happy the honeymoon of 2019 going to be over. It's going to feel like the same 2018 and we're going to have to get back in the huddle and say, hold on, brother. Hold on, sister. It ain't over yet. We're going to work together and get through this thing for the glory the king and so tonight with the offering basket here would you just come and then we're gonna get ready to close in prayer and get on out of here play some music for us just come up and give it's no order we ain't doing nothing fancy we sowing into the kingdom amen on its way no time to say that i'm not ready yes if you want to give my credit card you can go to my website gotta get in a hurry um, you can gotta get myself to get on my website gotta make this um, journey you will put my uh, card up my brother don't move too fast you can miss your blessings you don't oh, move too slow gotta keep on striving Man, I don't know what the future holds for me But one thing I know that God's got great things in store for me For me to come forward Do what he wants me to do Say what he wants me to say It's only God's time Pastor Mo, 6 p.m. at Faith Fellowship in San Diego. And Brother Fuego will be hosting that. Um, it's a great time in the kingdom. Um, and this is the other thing, y'all. Let's celebrate each other. You know, when you start seeing stuff online and all of that from folks that you know and you know what they're about, share that. You don't know who's going to see it that's connected to you that may just pull up on that and that may change their life. So let's let's, let's yeah. help each other. Push the work of the Lord forward. You don't lose when you help somebody else win. Because we all win. When they win, we win. Because when they win and he win and they win, Christ win. And everybody happy. So let's use our time and the social media and all of that stuff for some greater purposes. Lastly, I got some things that you can sign up for. If you want to say, I want to become a partner um, with All In Nation, there's a way that you can do that. You can give a small gift monthly where it don't hurt your pockets, but you can consistently support the ministry. So there's a way for you to do that. Um, Sister Bernice has some of these, um, and she'll see you afterwards. Also some free CDs over there. And so we want to just make a way for folks to support the work. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this night. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your people. Thank you for the ministry gifts. I pray that your people who came to minister tonight were encouraged that, yes, them, that them, you want to use them to bless others. There's so many times as an artist, um, as a person who has a gift, you, you're reluctant to share it or, you know, you don't know how people are going to take it. But, Father, thank you that this year you're just calling us to pour it on the field, just, just to let it go forward. And I pray that they are encouraged, that they will be steadfast and unmovable in doing the work of the Lord this year. I pray for those who heard your word today in different songs or moments or in the scriptures and were enlightened. I pray that you who have begun a good work today day that you'll watch over it and complete that work even to the day of Christ Jesus we trust you with our lives help some of us to jump in your arms we've been looking at the stairs too long afraid but help some of us this year to go on and take that flying leap and just say I'm just gonna trust God and see where he takes me father help us this year to live all in for your glory it's in Jesus name we pray and everybody say Amen and thank God. God bless you guys. Y'all have a good night. Amen. Happy New Year. Make sure you get somebody some love before you get out of here. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have refreshments in the back and also on January 12th, Mama Sally, we got an event, Celebrate African American Culture, a free family event that will be at the Bankhead Theater Lobby. 2400 First Street. Is that in San Francisco? It's in Livermore, okay, in Livermore. So please come see this flyer, January 12th, the weekend after Pastor Moves them release from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Celebrate African American culture. That event is happening at the Bankhead Theater in Livermore. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>